Friday, Friday's fun day, and oh, have we had some fun with this. Elizabeth and I have loved it. So it's one of our favorite films. And it's really hard to choose when there's so many amazing characters, but let's get going with Donkey. up today this is what we're doing today and it is our donkey picture and I've got a bit of scrap paper to do my warm-up and I want to be thinking about the marks we make with our pencil drawing is all about and painting it's all about making marks now can you see the bits of hair the funny hair in donkey's head and also have a little look at the eyebrows there and the tail and then you can see we've got little marks here around for the fur this is pretty subtle but when you when you're doing that I want you to be thinking instead of drawing an eyebrow like that when it actually comes to doing the putting the paint down we're not going to paint it like that we're going to I want you to be thinking of it like this and the same with the hair it isn't about filling it in it's about doing these sweepy strokes and with the fur we want to be thinking about where we want it to go on the line so the fur coming down lots of loose strokes and when it comes to doing the tail instead of of doing a what we're going to be thinking about is like that, and then these lovely loose marks. So think about the marks and the lines you make. At first, we won't do that, we'll put in our sh shapes, but as we come on through the drawing, then we'll be thinking about the, make about the marks we're making. Let's start drawing. <laughs> my watercolour pad here for this drawing. I'm going to be using watercolour washes on donkey so I need to make sure I'm using the watercolour paper. This is really thick and even though I've done on the my drawings on the other side, this is um this is such thick paper you can do it on both sides. And these pads are available on our online shop. If you go to the Little Art School website um and, and the shop you can find them and we sell these um these pads, they're under £11, including delivery. They're amazing bargains. So have a little look at those. And let's start for, with Donkey with some basic shapes. I, I'm, I know I do this all the time, but it really helps me to be thinking, where is the middle of the page? Right, middle of the page is there. So I'm going to go just slightly under that middle of the page, and I'm going to put in a small line. Everything is lines and curves. And from that line, I'm going to take it up, and we're going to put in a square and if you're thinking but there's no squares in donkey just wait stick with me trust me i will make it happen and from there we're going to take it out i'm going to go for a curve there this is actually going to form like his um i want to say nose i think it might be muzzle and the same on this side but this time we're going to take it up slightly higher there and coming out and then we've got a line here as well and here, from the top, just thinking about taking that line up there, rounding a curve and down. And this is really just thinking about what the shapes are, where they fit in with each other to form the painting that we're doing. And now to get these ears in at the angle we want, I want to go up with a good straight line here, just to where that curve is. Another one there. I'm going to take that out, a line there, and then a quite odd uh almost triangle but it's got four sides there'll be a proper name for it is elizabeth went there rhomboid is that right and then we'll go from here going just in slightly so you, they're not symmetrical nothing about donkey is symmetrical you have to remember that i'm going to take it in a straight line there think about the shape between them take that up a bit down and then across now this isn't super easy there's, there's it's a bit complex but it's really worth taking your time on this bit here so coming down now we're going to go out like that take that bit a little bit out really look hard at the shapes look at the angles how much steeper that one is compared to there coming across and then we're going to take this right down two straight lines and across so that is our first set of shapes so starting with the square just around the middle of the page start building those up and um, just press pause now and get those in so when you 
pause at the next one at step two, you'll see that these lines here are all done as red dotted lines. And what I'm going to do is use this as my base and then work around them. So here, I'm going to take that out and in slightly. And there, where that line is, I'm going to go down to there and then into my square and across. This is going to be the top of his mouth and I'll go back up to the square. And with this line going up, he's got these amazing teeth and they come within the square there and round like that. So if we come to this side now and have a think here, we're going to go slightly out and then slightly out again. You'll really be able to see this when you pause it here. And there where we've got that straight line, just add a few kinks into it. That's all you need to do there. The most complicated bit in the whole drawing comes here in that box. So we've already done half of it. We've got where the teeth and the mouth are going to be. Here, take your time and look at the lines and think about the shapes within the shapes. And it is just a series of shapes. So think about that shape there, which would be the gap between the teeth. And take your time with it. And join that up there. That's all it is. It's just a really simple shape. And then coming underneath, this is like his gum. We've got that and it goes up to there. So that's the start of his mouth there. And here we'll take that round. And just be guided now by the lines you put in of the square and where these lines are going in or out from it. We've got a little hoof there. Another coming out here. So that is going to go in, down, round. It'll all make sense when you get to the pause bit. But just think about these shapes. And then coming into here and put that leg Round. So that is pretty much halfway across that line there. Come up and there and down. And the same here, coming up. We've got another, his, has his, um, his legs crossed. This is absolutely one of my favourite characters in all films everywhere. Who could not love Donkey? Donkey is the best. Here we go. So coming down here on this side, now I'm going to take that out. So look at that shape, have a, just, just come out there. And then we've got the shape for the tail. So that's just going to go up. I'm going to put that in really lightly because remember what I talked to you about with the, the strokes, the marks we're going to make. We've got another shape there. And then we've got this last hoof coming around and just copy the shapes. Just think about what the shapes are. And that's the second step. So we can see he's starting to come together now. So what I'm going to do now is start to rub some of these lines out and then we'll come on and we'll finish it off. Right, let's go straight in with the eyes now. So up here towards the top of the head. So where that line's coming in slightly, we're going to come in just a couple of millimetres and this is our shape. We've got a curve if it's like an almond shape. So let's get the position in first, leaving a bit of space. And the second eye is slightly bigger. It's always the eyes that we, we worry about with these things. So that's the two eyes in. And then you've got your circles there. And a pupil. So they're not huge, the eyes on the donkey here. So, and then here's the key. You want to do a broken line there around the outside of each one. It's like an eye lid around the outside of each one. So that's your broken line. And if that looks a bit odd, as soon as you start to change it down here so that it's nice and fluffy, and we put here, we start to put a little line where it's gonna change color, then he'll start to come. And as soon as that mouth goes in, you'll start to see donkey. So we've got like a, a small shape here, and then come down and let's have a play with these teeth. So it's about thinking about each shape there, because he has got fabulously big teeth here. One, two, and then a smaller one there. And another little one there. I'm actually gonna, we will do a little gum around it when we start coming into painting. And then you've got that gap and then one, 
two and then another two smaller one so he's starting to feel a bit more like donkey and as soon as just remember going back to what we did in the warm-up as soon as we start putting in these bits of fur around and then up into the ears let's really soften all the edges with these smooth lines and inside the ear as well same on that one lovely smooth soft furry edge to it sorry about the noise i'm afraid my sons it sounds like they've turned the floor upstairs into some sort of trampoline and we'll just come down like that and then remember what, again what we did in the warm-up i've just got these lines i'm only going to put a few in because i actually want to be doing this with my paintbrush at the end but you've got this crazy crazy donkey hair there so pretty much done now all we'll be doing now is going around the edge and loosening that off, putting a couple of details. So look closely for a couple of details in the hooves. And we've got a little line here, which will just help us when we start putting the paint in. And that's pretty much it, just softening round. Now I'm gonna do this painting now with watercolor washes and I would love you to paint him too. So why don't you stay with me and we'll paint him together. So I'm gonna use my ever so slightly messy palette, apologies Elizabeth, um, here, and I'm gonna mix two washes. So I'm just popping a bit of water into my paint lid. And I'm going to go into the grey here and I want plenty of paint on my brush there. Mix these greys. Now you always remember to have a little bit of tester paper so you can check out how these colours are looking. So I want this pretty light. That's a bit too light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a touch of brown. Not much, but just a little. Here, it's all quite about subtlety is... Um, um, watercolour painting, that's probably too much, so let's go back in with more grey. I think that's about right. Now, I'm going to do the same here, but this time I want to make it darker. And I'm going to make it darker by adding in a bit of black. So there we go, we've got our dark grey. We've got a light grey and a dark grey, so let's start off with our light grey. And here I'm going to put this all through there, all like the centre, down the centre here. And around here. Then I'm going to go in with my dark grey and I'm going to just cover the whole of donkey. And I'm just going to let those merge with each other. Can you see how that's happening? They're just merging and I'll do the tail as well. And I'm just going to do absolutely everything with this dark grey. Now, now, if you're wondering why we've not done Shrek, why we've done Donkey and Cat, uh, one of the things with the daily draw is that we are not going to do anything in the daily draw that we do on our course. So our little art school course, which is different from the daily draw because it's all about progressing. It's all about, about really constantly um, teaching you new skills and new materials, whereas we're a bit limited in the materials and what we can do on the daily draw. I'm just gonna do exactly the same up here, but go around the eyes. And we have Shrek in our little artist club course. He is part of a course that's called 100 Years of Movie Magic, when we do Shrek and Merida, Mary Poppins, Superman, it's a super course. Superman on a super course. And you teach that one, don't you, Elizabeth? Yeah. So, so that's why we've not done Shrek. So if you've asked us for something and we've not done it, that's probably the reason why. It's because it's in the actual Little Art School course. Now, I'm going to leave that to dry now. I might put a touch more black in here. And I'm just going to drop that in certain areas where I want it to be a little bit darker. You see there, like that. Just here and there. It's going to take a few minutes to dry, and then we'll come back. 
So it's nice and dry now. I've left it for quite a while. I actually stuck it outside in the sunshine where it dries a bit quicker. I'm just going to put a little bit of water onto my palette now and some black paint. And from that, I'm going to do just what we talked about in that um, warm up. I'm going to put in the little strokes to make his tail. And you could do this with a black pencil or you could do it with a fine liner. I'm just showing you how to do it with a brush. I'm just doing it here and there around and then remember how we did that. So really quick. He's got such crazy hair, donkey. So you've, I'm flicking it off so that it's it's wider at the bottom. And then can you see flicky, flicky flick at the top of hair like that. That's his crazy hair and I might put a few more in there as well. And a little bit of black there. Maybe a bit around there too. I'm going to go around with my pencil at the end to do that. Now I've got some black here beto between his teeth. I might, what I'm going to do now is go put even more paint into that. And on his hoofs. I'm going to do this really quickly, but you can really take your time to do that on his hoofs. So not much left to do on him now, really. I'm going to do a little grey, pale pink wash. So a touch of grey there and a touch of red. You can see what colour that's made. And that's going to go round here, around the bottom of his mouth there. And I'm going to add a touch more red into it and maybe even a bit of brown. So you're just playing around with your um, colours and I'm going to go into there as well with that bit. So let's pop the eyes in. I'm going to use, you can use your paints again for this, but if I just show you how to do it with my water, with your watercolour, with any kind of pencils really actually, but I'm going to do it with the watercolours although I'm not going to turn them. I've got raw sienna and then I'm going to go round it with a touch of a darker brown and then there we go in the middle and I'm going to go around the edges with a good strong black there and a bit underneath and then those broken lines remember those broken lines on top and don't forget because this is what gives him part of his character is the eyebrows now the eyebrows remember we did that in the warm-up so rather than a strong line lots of little lines now this one comes right down over his eye like that and then this one is kind of like he's he's raising this one up. I like to think in mild flirtation if he's just seen his dragon lady friend. So that's us done really with those paints and then you can go round if you want nice and slowly around the edges and put in bits of fur. He's not a smart donkey is he? So you can make his fur so it sticks up a bit and the same round here just really gentle strokes putting in back in some of those pencil marks that we went put in at the beginning and then finishing it off by going around his teeth with the black and that'll work if you do it with a, a fine liner or whatever you want to do it with and I'm going to come out there like that with his nose and that is my donkey. hope you really enjoyed that. I think you could probably tell that we really enjoyed that. Now, don't forget, if you go and have a look at the senior one, you can have a go at Puss in Boots. So um, make sure you have a go at both of them over the weekend and send us your pictures. We love seeing them. Um, if there are any, any videos that you've missed, maybe you haven't had a go at Mario yet or haven't had a go at one of the many, many ones that we've gone going right back now. We've got over 80 um, different art lessons for you to choose from. Um, take a look over the weekend, go back over, over some of the ones we've done over the last few weeks and see if you fancy picking any of those. Monday, we'll be back and we're gonna be back. We've been asked, so many times now for pandas we're bringing you a panda on monday we will see you then